We've got a question on the ideal gas equation from a chap called Mzondile. Mzondile, you there on the line? Okay, we'll wait for him, but we'll start with that. We're going to talk about the ideal gas equation, and that is PV equals NRT. Mzondile, you there? Yeah, I'm there. How are you doing? I'm cool in the first. That's good. And how are the exams going? No, we haven't just started yet. When are you starting? I'm um, not quite sure because I'm, I'm still in grade 11. Okay, you're in grade 11. Okay, right. You've got a question on the ideal gas equation. Yes. Okay, just... Can I read? Okay, read it out for me. I've got the equation in front of me. What information are you given? Can I read the statement for you? Okay, read the question for me. At what temperature? Okay, so I'm going to put here temperature. Will 1,1 1, 1 gram of propane gas? Okay, we've got 1,1 1, 1 gram of propane gas. Yes, Evan, uh, open bracket C3H8. Okay, you say it's C3H8. Okay, we'll come back to that now. Good. What else? Exert a pressure of 27,7 kilopascals in a 420 centimeter cubic diameter. Okay, let's see. 26.7 kilopascals, you said? Yeah. Okay, and the volume you said was? No, okay. Uh, 420 centimeters cubed. 420 okay. centimeters cubed. Yes. Okay. Right. So we're trying to work out the temperature of this gas. Okay. One copper, one gram of propane gas. Yes. Okay. You can see the formula there. I'm going to change it around. I'm going to make the temperature. So if we've got, I'll just write it again. If we've got PV equals NRT. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to make temperature my the main part of my formula so i'm going to put pv on the other side divided by n times r you with me yeah i'm with you okay right now this formula is interesting because we have to have the pressure and the volume in certain units okay but before that come we need to work out the number of moles okay okay so right. i think okay. yes carry on I think we're going to say 1,1 uh, divided by 44, and then that's going to give us 0, 0,0. Okay, you're very good at this. Okay, so let's just put N equals M over M. Okay, yeah, the formula is equal to M over M. Okay, so it's 1,1, and C3, 3 times 12 is 36, plus 8 is 44, okay? Yes. So 1,1 1, 1 divided by 44 gives us what? Uh, 0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,0,
We're going from centimeters cubed to meters cubed. So we're going to the left. So we're moving the decimal, pla decimal place six places to the left. Okay. Yes. Okay, right. Divided by the number of moles we've worked out is zero, zero, zero 0.25. Zero five. Five. Okay. Multiplied by the gas constant R. What's the gas constant R? Do you remember? It's 8.31, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's 8,031. Okay. No, but I, is it, is it standard period? Yes. Yes, that's the gas constant R. It's in your information sheet. It'll always be given to you in your information sheet. You okay, okay. with that? Okay. Right, have you got a calculator to work all that out for me? All right, okay. Quickly, okay. While, I, while you're working, I'll just mention to the viewers that, that pressure must be in... Mm -hmm. In, in Pascals. Pascals. Pascals, yes. Pascals. So if it's in kilopascals, you must multiply by a thousand. So I multiply by the 10 to the power of 3. The volume must be in meters cubed. So we have to, do, if it's in centimeters cubed, you divide by a million. So it's times 10 to the minus 6. If it's in decimeters cubed, it's times 10 to the minus 3. And our answer will be in Kelvin. Right. So what's our answer then, Kelvin? You've got, have you got it? Have you, you, close to getting it. It's 53,9. Okay, 53,9. Okay, when you line it off, it, it's going to be 98. Okay, so let's just believe it as 53,9. That's fine. So yes. our answer is in Kelvin. Now, while we're on the line now, if I've got that in Kelvin and I want to change it into degrees Celsius, what do I need to do? I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay, well, let's see, for example, on the other side. If I've got 25 degrees Celsius, how much Kelvin is that? Because remember in this, it's this formula, PV equals NRT, we must use temperature in Kelvin. So I've got 25 degrees. This is the easy way. What would that be in Kelvin? You add how much? I think, okay, okay. I think it's going to be 473. It's 25 degrees centigrade. If you add, convert it to Kelvin, you add... 273. So that equals yeah. 298 Kelvin. Yes. Okay, right. So if I go to Kelvin to degree centigrade, I must minus 273. Okay, so if you've got your calculator, you can work that out. It's minus 200 and something degrees Celsius. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You yeah, with I'm me? I'm with you, sir. Okay. Right, thanks for your call, Mzandili. I hope you in, you've learned something from this. And if you've got any other questions, give us a call.